Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make the bow for my macrame cat in more detail. So it's this one. And this one happens to be pink but you can obviously make it in any colour you'd like. And I'm going to link the video for my actual macrame cat in the bottom in the description box. So if you want to learn how to make the actual cat please feel free to go and have a look at that. But now we're going to look at the bow in more detail. So if you want to learn how to do that, then stay tuned. So to make this bow, I'm going to be using some 1mm satin cord. The reason that I'm using this is because it's the same cord that I've used for the cap, for the actual macrame cap, and that's the only thing I will say. Try and keep the bow the same type of cord or thread that you're using for the cap. Um, but obviously the colour you can choose completely what you want. I'm just going to be using a blue one in this case. So the first thing you want to do is you want to carve two lengths of your cord. Now none of this cord, none of the lengths that you're going to be using need to be that long. But rather do a bit extra because you also need to have enough to work with. So I'm just going to make them about this length. It's probably 40 to 50 centimeters at most. It doesn't even need to be that long. It's just to make sure you also have enough to work with. And rather a bit too much than too little in case it ends up being too short you can't really add in you'll have to just start over so cut these two lengths and then what you need to do is attach these together to be the starting point for your bow so I fold them both over to find about the middle and so you have like this loop where the middle is and then all you do is to attach one to the other you're going to do a lax head knot so you take one cord underneath the other where the loop is put your fingers in between inside the loop and then go back and grab your ends and pull them through the loop so the one cord wraps around the other cord and it looks like this. And then all you do is pull tight. You can pin this to the board if you need to. I would normally do in some cases, but because we're just attaching one, it's not really necessary. So you now have the one cord attached to the other cord. So now what you need to do is then put your fingers through the other loop, the cord that you attached onto and then pull the ends from that same cord through there. So the ends of the cord is coming through the loop of the same cord. And you just pull that tight. So you basically have a couple of knots in here. And you've got both cords coming out. Basically turned into four separate cords, two on each side and that's going to be the starting point for our bow. So as you might be able to imagine is we have the center there where the knots are and you got your cords coming out on each side like I said what will happen is this is going to end up forming the bow. So the next thing we do before we actually start making it is you want to cut off another two lengths of your cord and cut off two now so they get about the same length. You'll only use one at a time because we'll do one side of the bow at a time. But just cut them both off now, you might as well have it ready. This cord is going to need to be the longest one because that's basically going to be going through your whole work. So maybe make it about the same size as the ones before or maybe even a bit longer. Rather too much than too little. Again, maybe about 50 centimeters or so. If you're in doubt, do a bit more, because it's better not to run out if you can avoid it. And use that to measure the other one. And we now have them ready. So now we need to start working on the bow. So the first thing I'm going to do is this is the first piece we did. That's going to be the base of the bow, where we have the knots in the middle. 
I'm going to attach this to my board. I'm just working on like my crammy board, project board. You can work on whatever you have around. So I'm going to turn it the other way. So basically one side of the bow is facing towards me because I'm going to work on one side at a time. I'm going to get out a pin and just put it down through that knot in the middle. This is just to secure it to the board so it doesn't move around while we're working with it. So you now have this in position. So what you do now is grab one of the cords that you cut off, one of the long ones that you got ready. And we now need to attach this to one of the side cords. And the way you do that is if you put one to the side of it, so you're just working with one because you need to attach it to that. You put basically the one coming out from the cord that you attach to your board that's going to be your holding cord for now and then the one that you're going to be attaching to it is your working cord so you feed your working cord underneath make sure you leave a tail here because you're going to be using that when you attach it to the actual cat I'll show you that in the McGrammy cat video so so make sure there's a tail keep hold of this and then you want to grab the other end, feed it around that cord and pull it. So basically it just loops around the cord for now. Like so. And then, so that's on the top side of this cord. So now what you need to do is get the end again loop it back around the holding cord again but down on the other side of the cord so go back around and then you need to get it through the loop of the same cord as well like so so basically it forms a six make sure it's coming through the loop because that's how it's going to stay attached to this cord and you just tighten them and that is now attached with your tail coming out this way. So then what you do is you push this all the way down to the bottom, basically as far as it'll go, right below the middle knots that you made originally. And now as you go you'll be cutting off some cord to attach into it. These just need to be little bits, they don't need to be that long, but maybe about uh, 20 centimeters at the most probably a bit more if you feel insecure so you cut that off I just do this as I go because there's no specific measurements for these right and so now what you have is these two are your original cords right from the beginning and then this is what you attached to that and you pushed it down so what you want to do now is grab a hold of the one you just attached, the long end that's on the inside of the bow, and you want to now attach the cord you just cut off to that one. Again we'll do this with a lax head knot. So I fold the cord I just cut off over in half, and then around the middle is where my loop is. I put that underneath that long cord, and then take my fingers through the loop, grab the ends and pull them through and then tighten that and now that is attached to that long cord and again what you do is you push that all the way down so this is probably going to be the most confusing part because there's a lot of stuff going on but it'll get easier as you get go along so now you have them coming out of this very longest cord so that's basically the first row that you've just done. So now you need to finish off that row and by doing that we take the other card from the original ones you did coming out from the middle and that is your holding card and then you want to make sure the longest card, that's now your working card again that's coming out underneath that. So you grab a hold and then you take the long one around your finger and through the loop so again you have that six making sure it's coming through the loop 
and keep hold of the holding cord and you just pull that all the way down you do another one so you're doing half hitches here, double half hitches really again and push it down and that's basically the first row of your bow so at this point it might look a bit confusing because there's a lot of cards going on coming in all directions just try and keep them all separate and remember what's what this one up here is the tail, the end, we won't be touching that anymore not until it gets attached to the cap so just try and ignore that these two are the ones that originally coming from the very first notch you did, the two you attached together so they are basically going to be the size of your bow the whole way up this one, these two are the ones that you attached, the last ones you attached to the very long one, which is this one. So just try and keep track of that and then take it slowly and it'll be fine. So what you need to do now is again grab the long one because you now need to come back around to be able to make the next row. So again this side one is still your holding cord but you basically switch hands and take this back around still coming underneath your working cord underneath your holding cord and you just do the exact same thing but with opposite hands so you take that around your finger and pull it through the loop and then tighten it all the way down around your finger and through the loop and again you're getting your six making sure it's coming through the loop and push it all the way down and then that is forming the side of the bow further you get up but also you're now ready to go across to make your next row so naturally now this longest cord is coming laying above your other cords just let it stay that way because that is now your holding cord and these short ones that you, the last ones you attached in the middle of the bow of this side they are going to be your working cords so all you do is grab hold of that take the first one that's coming out over your finger and through the loop and then pull it down over your finger and through the loop remember now to keep your holding cord in this direction going across because you want to make basically a straight line here take the next one over your finger and through the loop always make two half hitches with each cord over your finger and through the loop. So that's now your second row. So in the first row we basically had two knots, two half hitches. On this one using the same cords we now have four so it's starting to graduate outwards which is what we want to get the bow shape. Now to finish off this row you need to switch your cords around again and now the side one on this side is your holding cord and the long one is your working cord so take the working cord around your finger and through the loop pull it down around your finger and through the loop and pull it down and again we now need to get into position to come back across the other way to make the next row so you switch hands, hold your holding cord, it's still your holding cord but take it in the other hand grab your working cord, the long one, underneath hold it with the other hand and then around your finger and through the loop and tighten it, around your finger and through the loop and tighten that making sure that when you do the sides as well that you come out at the right angle to graduate outwards but it kind of just happens naturally and now we want to come back across again to make the next row so I grab the first cord now the long one is my holding cord again the short one over your finger through the loop remember to hold the holding cord in that direction that you want your row to go over your finger and through the loop that's your first one. Now at this point you don't want to just grab the next one, you want to add in another cord because you need to graduate outwards so you want to put in some more cord for that. Before I do that I'm just going to put some more pins in. 
because now you've actually done a bit more work you have somewhere to put some bins just to keep it nice and secure and stop it from moving around so like I said at this point we need to get another cord so I get that out just cut off a short length it doesn't have to be that long like so fold that over double it over so you have that loop at about the middle and then this long cord that's your holding cord across this row you need to attach this short one too so you do the same thing as the whole time do it with a lax head knot so you put the loop underneath put your fingers through the loop and pull the ends through that loop and then you tighten it like so and that's now attached and then you push that all the way down right next to the other knots that you just made and all it does it blends in and it just creates extra knots on this row so that's an extra two knots basically now you're ready to move on to the next cord the one from the previous row so all you're thinking through the loop the long one is still your holding cord tighten it all your finger and through the loop and you've now reached the end of the row you need to finish it off by doing the side so you switch your cords around so the long one is coming underneath your side cord and your side cord is your holding cord you then take the long one around your finger and through the loop tighten it around your finger through the loop and tighten it and that's now that row finished off so again we come back around, so you switch hands, grab the long one underneath, over your finger and through the loop, tighten it, making sure you hold the holding cord at the same angle and direction, over your finger and through the loop, like so. And that's your long cord is now into position to start doing the next row. So again we just do the same thing we've done the whole time. We we'll go across. Your holding cord is already lying above all the others, which it needs to. So you grab the very first cord around your finger and through the loop, around your finger and through the loop. Grab the next one, and that's the middle ones from the previous row, the ones that you attached in the previous row. So around your finger and through the loop, around your finger and through the loop because as you'll see again now because we're doing two knots with each cord that's going to make it graduate outwards again because you end up with more knots in this row than the previous row around your finger and through the loop with the next one around your finger and through the loop and then the last one in this row around your finger whoops around your finger and through the loop around your finger and through the loop and you're now at the end of this row again so to finish off that we switch the cords around again the side cord is your holding cord the long one is still your working cord around your finger and through the loop so we get the six again that's wrapping around the cord tighten that around your finger and through the loop and tighten that come back around itself still the working cord underneath your holding cord around your finger and through the loop around your finger and through the loop so that is now into position to start making the next row now you have quite a lot of cords going on but just try and keep them separated or keep track of what you're doing so all the ones in the middle are the ones coming out from the previous row and the two on the side are your side cards so that's a way of trying to remember in that so we're now ready to go across to make the next row and that is actually going to be the last row and in this one I'm not going to add in any extra cord I'm just going to continue and do the exact same thing we just did in the previous one so you just go across the whole row and make half hitches with all your cords double half hitches around your finger and through the loop 
always making sure that you grab the very next cord that you don't accidentally cross them over around your finger and through the loop around your finger and through the loop and the last one in this row and now we're at the end so we just need to finish off this row so you switch them around again the long one that you've been making rows with your working cords coming up underneath take that around your finger and through the loop and then pull that down tight around your finger and through the loop and you've now finished off that row and basically that's one side so I'm going to show you how to do the other side and then I'm going to show you how to finish it off so now that this side is done with making knots I'm going to move on to the other side so I'm going to take out my pins and then I'm just going just to flip this around just so all your cords get out of the way and you can start working on the other side and again then just pin it down because you now have that whole piece to help secure it in place like so so we're now ready to start working on this side of the bow and you'll be doing the exact same thing that you did on the other side the only thing is you'll be doing it all the opposite way and I'm going to show you how to do it all the way because it can be quite confusing sometimes um, it happens to everyone where it's like you're doing something the exact same thing but because it's reversed it's just your brain can't quite figure it out it happens to me all the time so I'm going to show you all the way how to do it so we're ready now to start and I've already cut the long length that I need off that I did in the beginning so you grab that and then now we start on this side because I like having my tails on the same side so you put your end underneath one of your side cords leaving the tail you now need to attach the long cord to that side grab the other end of it feed it around that side cord so you get it looping around almost like a snake like this and then you come back down on the other side of the tail do the same thing loop the end around the cord but then make sure you pull it through the loop so it looks something like this and now you can pull it tight and it's then attached to that cord and you can then start working on your first row so you now have a long working cord that's going to go through your whole side of your bow attached to one side and the same side that you attached so both, as long as you can say this is the top both your ends and tails are coming out that's why it's all reverse so now you want to grab another length of cord just a short one like we did because you now need to attach that to the cord you just attached to this cord again the beginning seems like the most confusing part because you just have cords all over the place but just try and take it slowly and it will work out fine so this short cord fold it in half so you have the loop at about the middle your long cord grab that feed that loop underneath put your fingers through and pull your tails of that cord through and then that's a lax head knot so you now push that all the way down so it lays right next basically to the other knot that you attach that cord with and that is basically then your first row so that you need to finish that off so you grab the other side cord in this hand that's your holding cord the long one is your working cord it's coming underneath so put it around your finger and through the loop and then tighten that all the way down around your finger and through the loop and tighten that so that's basically your first row so you now need to come back around to get into position for the next row so you take your long cord underneath 
the holding cord, the side cord, around your finger and through the loop, around your finger and through the loop. So again you're still getting your sixes by doing the double half hitches. So that is now coming out here above your previous cords, the cords from your previous row, and you're ready to make the next row. So you have the cords here in the middle from your previous row, split them up, do one at a time, the first one over your finger and through the loop, and make sure you hold the long cord, your holding cord, in the direction that you want your row to go, so straight underneath the other one, over your finger and through the loop, and tighten that, and the next one over your finger and through the loop, over your finger and through the loop. So that's that row, you need to finish it off, so you switch your cord around, cords around, your end, one of your side cords is your holding cord, and then the long one is coming underneath, so you put that around your finger and through the loop, and then tighten that all the way down around your finger and through the loop, you're getting your six, and tighten that. So that's your second row done. And now I'm just going to attach another pin into here to stop it from moving around too much. So we now want to get into position again to make the next row. So your long cord is here, this is your side cord. Take the back around on itself, hold it like this and then take the long one around your finger and through the loop. Pull it down around your finger and through the loop and tighten that. And that is now ready to go across to form the next row. So that is your holding cord now. So you grab the very first cord from the previous row, take it around your finger and through the loop, around your finger and through the loop, still holding your holding cord, the long one, in the direction you want your row to go. And again, we're now ready to add in the next cord because remember we want, to, want it to graduate outwards. And we do that by adding in cord, which means it'll take up more space. So again, just a short length, fold it in half, have your loop, put that underneath the long holding cord that you're making your row with, put your fingers through and pull the ends through, and then tighten it. So your lax head knot, push it all the way down next to the previous knot so it becomes part of this row and then grab the next one, the last cord from the previous row and make your half hitches with that to finish off this row over your finger and through the loop and we now need to finish it off by doing the side so switch your cords around over your finger and through the loop, over your finger and through the loop. And that's now your third row. So now again we need to come back around to do the next row. So take the long one back on itself underneath the holding cord, the side cord, around your finger and through the loop. Tighten around your finger and through the loop and tighten. And now we can start with the next row. So you grab the very first cord from the previous row. Try and always make sure you grab the very next cord and don't let them cross over each other. Over your finger and through the loop. Tighten it. Over your finger and through the loop and tighten it. And now we're in the middle of this row, which is the two cords that you attached in the previous row, take the first one over your finger and through the loop, over your finger and through the loop, and the next one over your finger and through the loop, over your finger and through the loop. 
So by using these two chords separately, we've added now extra knots in from the previous row. And last one in this row. Like so. Switch your chords around to finish off the side of the row. Put the long one over your finger and through the loop. Over your finger and through the loop. Remember the side one, side chord is your holding chord. Take the long one back on itself underneath, over your finger and through the loop, over your finger and through the loop. And that is now into position to make the very last row. So again, we just go all the way across, take the very first chord from underneath, the long one, that's now your holding chord on this row, is coming above all these. So over your finger and through the loop, still getting your six. Over your finger and through the loop. The next one, over your finger and through the loop. Over your finger and through the loop. And this one we're just going to go all the way across like on the other side. We're not going to add in any extra chord because this is the last row. Over your finger and through the loop. Over your finger and through the loop. And then just to finish off this row, switch your chords around. The long one over your finger and through the loop. Tighten it over your finger and through the loop and tighten it. And that is basically the bow done. I'm going to take out all the pins. So nothing's going to come undone. It's not going to unravel or anything. Like so. So that is basically your bow. All that's left to do now is finish off all these ends. To do that, what you need to do is glue off all your ends so you can actually cut them off. Remember these two at the top, the tails that we left from the beginning, don't cut them off because we'll be using them to attach to the cat. But all the rest, the ones on the sides, we want to get rid of them. So to do this, I'm going to get out my glue. This is some hypo cement. I like using this glue specifically for things like this because it has a really fine tip so you can get in to really detail places where you want the glue to go. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to glue all the way around where my cords are coming out, making sure I get right where the cord is coming out but also a bit on the knots because you don't want anything to come undone when you cut them off. So you just do that all the way around. And I flip it over, do it on the back as well for extra security. And get a little bit in between the knots as well if you want. There's a good thing about this glue as well, it dries clear and it doesn't go really hard, say like super glue, so it's not going to irritate or anything. So in general it's actually a really good glue, like so. So that's one side. I'm going to grab my bow and do the other side as well. As you can see, because it's got such a fine tip, you can really get in there and do some detailed gluing. Just to get the glue exactly where you want it to go instead of kind of all over the place. So that's the front, and go on the back side and put your glue as well around where your cords are coming out and just around the knots as well. Make sure nothing's going to come undone. Like 
so. That's pretty good. Put the cap on your glue, put it away, and then just leave this to dry so you can then be able to cut off the ends. So then when you've let that dry, you just get a scissor and then you go in and cut off the excess cord as close to your knots as you can get but obviously without cutting off any knots because that might make it unravel a bit and you don't want to, ideally don't want that to happen after you've done all that hard work. And then this one as well, down the side. Remember to leave the two tails. like so. You can always go over them and see if you're happy. You can always then when you cut them off put a bit more glue on if you need to just to make sure the ends don't come undone. But then that's basically a bow finished and you have your tails at the top that are then used to put on the cap and I'll show you that in the Kramer Cat video so if you want to learn how to do that and maybe make the actual macrame cap, then please follow the link that I'm going to put in the description box. And then I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful, and thank you for watching.